Hey everybody, so in tonight's video I'm going to be drinking some Clorox bleach. So over the years a lot of you guys have left comments on my videos telling me I should drink bleach and die, and other people have said I should make a fake video where I put water in a Clorox bottle and drink it and pretend to drink bleach to fool people, but tonight I'm just actually going to drink some bleach. Um, the catch is I'm only going to drink a tiny amount. Um, so my research that I've done from Googling shows me that the amount I'm going to drink should be safe, so hopefully, but I'm not like a scientist or anything, so we'll find out. If I upload this video, I'm okay. <laughs> um, so I had this, this bleach at my house, and it's like halfway gone, and it's already open. So I didn't want to drink this bleach because you guys would say it was fake, you know, the cap's already off, you would say I just put water in there and said I faked it. So I went to the store and I bought this bleach. And it's a scented bleach. It's, a, it's got a fresh flower scent to it. I bought this, I brought it home, and I took off the cap and I realized there's no, like, thing you peel off. So there's no way for me to prove that this is actually bleach. There's no way. You know, I could have taken off the label and then, like, cut a hole in it or something. So there's really no way for me to prove that it's really bleach. And you guys can't smell it. So you kind of just have to take my word that it is actually bleach. And so on the EPA website, they recommend just using regular bleach, not scented bleach. So I'm going to go with my old original bottle. And so here we go. I guess there's no... Um, there's no protective cap on it because you're not supposed to like worry about people tampering with it because you're not supposed to drink it anyway. So here it is. My research is from an, e an EPA website and HowStuffWorks.com. And so apparently you can actually use bleach to. Um, clean water. I mean, the idea is, I think on the on the EPA website they say for every gallon of water, use six drops of Clorox bleach. So here we go. That's bleach. This is water. Just going to do that. And then I've got a teaspoon. A teaspoon. Bleach. Just one teaspoon. I uh, splashed a little bit on my shirt, so it might be white in the future. And, uh, let's mix it up. And so they say like six drops for a gallon. This is like one cup, basically. So this is a lot more concentrated than they recommend. But here we go. Oh my god. Yeah, it tastes like... It tastes like a swimming pool. It tastes... You know how a swimming pool tastes... <laughs> It tastes like 10 times stronger than a swimming pool. That's what it tastes like. I don't think I could even do it at that concentration. So, let's dilute it some more. Oh, my. <clears throat> it's still pretty strong. I mean, originally I was thinking I'd do like a cup of just bleach, but um, that's, that's not even like possible. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be drinking just as much water as possible. 
just to dilute this as much as I possibly can. I mean, this is okay. This is, um, still tastes like bleach, but th this is basically, this tastes like sw swimming pool water. Um, when I was a kid, I, you know, I drank plenty of swimming pool water. Whew. And on how stuff works, they kind of say, if you drink like a mouthful of bleach, that you like you might be okay. Like they they still recommend you call poison control, but if you say a mouthful, like you would still probably survive. Um, and oh yeah, first of all, don't try this. Anybody watching this, like um, I have to probably legally have to give out that warning. Yeah, it's like a swimming pool. It's like, like my brain is like sand. Just like you shouldn't be drinking this. And on the website and on the bottle, they say, if you do drink any of it, don't induce vomiting, because I guess it's bad for you going up also. I think the first half of that that gulp was okay because it wasn't really mixed in very well. But the end of the sip, um, tasted pretty uh, chemically. Yeah, that's bleach. Um, so I guess, yeah, people use this to clean their uh, their toilets and their um, make their clothes white and clean showers. Yeah, an hour ago I was thinking I would do like multiple um, teaspoons, but I think one was too much. Okay, let's just drink this. Okay, I got this cup down. I guess it's worth mentioning I also ate a dinner before I did this video intentionally because I figure if my stomach is full of stuff it'll dilute the bleach even more so I think it's time, um, that's kind of like a war good warning sign that it's time to, uh, stop with the bleach. 
and just focus on um, just diluting the water some more. So, <coughs> probably not. Probably not gonna sleep well tonight. Kind of a stomach ache, probably. So I think I put like a teaspoon in a cup, and then halved that into another cup, and then have that into another cup. So. This is sort of only a uh, quarter of a teaspoon. So, like, I'm, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be okay. But, um, um, still want to dilute it some more. Like I was saying, I could have easily just faked this. I could have just poured out the whole bottle and just put water in there. But I don't want to fake stuff on this channel. Um, just want to be honest with you guys. And it was really bleach. And um, yeah, I'm not going to be drinking the rest of that. My stomach kind of hurts, but it probably would have felt, you know, a similar pain um, just from drinking that much water at once anyway. <sighs> yeah, there's a video on YouTube of guys doing a sketch where they're just doing shots of uh, bleach and they act like they don't even notice the taste. <clears throat> it's not possible. They would have definitely noticed the taste. <clears throat> I was just throwing up, and um, I could see the throw up as I was throwing it up, and it looked white. So I don't know if that's a bad sign or not. I guess it's better than it be red. I had some uh, some rice for dinner. Maybe the reason that it's white is because it's um, rice mixed in coming up. You know, it's probably a good thing 
that I'm throwing up. Like I said, the bleach bottle says not to. But it's probably good. It's probably good to not have that going through my intestines and the um, rest of my organs. Uh, like I, I'm not a chemist at all. Not even close to being a chemist. But I, I, I'm kind of under the impression that bleach is like a salt, sort of. And so, I think it would have a similar effect on your body as drinking um, cups of salt water. That's my understanding. You know, obviously, drinking um, tons and tons of salt would, uh, would, would be dangerous to you, but um, I think a small amount would be okay. How's everyone doing? I actually feel I feel um, a lot better after that last big throw up. Um, yeah, I feel a lot better. I think I have a, a very sensitive stomach. Um, like in the in the one John drinks water episode. I was throwing up just from drinking a bunch of distilled water. <laughs> um, so, I think I just, you know, throw up more than a normal person anyway. So that just adds to this. Um, and on some of the websites I was reading that you should factor in a person's weight and how much bleach would be harmful to them. And I, like, I weigh a lot, so um, I also kind of factored that in that I would be able to, my body would be able to stand uh, a little bit more bleach. So it would be okay for me. Hmm. I'm not, uh, not dead. Sounds good. And if I, if I ever was going to uh, kill myself, I would not use bleach. Yeah, bleach, um, would be like a slow, very painful death, I would imagine. There's a video on YouTube of a guy drinking uh, drain cleaner. He was trying to kill himself. And it, it ended up just destroying his stomach. So he uh, had to have his stomach surgically removed. Yeah, the guy on YouTube had his stomach surgically removed, and I think he had his esophagus surgically removed. So they ended up just taking his intestines, and um, the intestines were like on top of his skin. They hooked it up to his throat, and so when he ate food, the food would just go straight into his intestines, and you would see it on the outside of his, uh, his chest. It's kind of interesting. But that's, I mean, that's 
a good warning to not drink chemicals. So I'm kind of stupid to uh, be making this video after I saw that other video. Uh. Yeah, seriously, if you're gonna kill yourself, don't don't do not use bleach. Um I mean there's really there's almost no guaranteed way to kill yourself. Um I mean, even you know, a bullet some people survive a bullet to the head, some people survive jumping off buildings and stuff. There's no guaranteed way. And then if you, like, shoot yourself in the head and you survive, um, you'll probably have brain damage and it'll just mess up your life even more. Um. So all the bleach is over there on the side. I'm not going to be drinking anymore. I'm just right now. I'm just drinking lots and lots more water to dilute it more. So I think at this point I've probably since since I've only consumed like you know a quarter of a of a teaspoon full of it. Probably. Um, I'm not drinking many cups of water, and I threw up even part of that that teaspoon of uh, of bleach. I probably don't have much left in me, um, so I think I'm fine. Yeah, the taste was a lot like a swimming pool. <clears throat> you know, a big part of taste is actually just smelling stuff. So, if you've smelled bleach, you probably know basically what it tastes like. You know. Like, if you smell fish... You smell a salmon patty. You pretty much know what it tastes like without even eating it. It's the same with bleach. Again, do not try this. No, nobody watching this should try this. I think that pretty much wraps up the video. I'm going to drink <clears throat> probably another gallon of water tonight. Just keep diluting the, the bleach more and more. Maybe I'll throw up again. Um, and yeah, if you guys are seeing this video, then uh, you know I'm okay. If I end up um, in the hospital, which I don't think I will, but I'll do an update. Let you guys know. Thanks for watching. Holy crap, over 20 minutes.